Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you as always for coming back. It's episode seven then with our director of football challenge with FC Barcelona. It's a big game today as we take on Besiktas at home in the first leg of the last 16 of the Champions League. Hopefully we can get the job pretty much done in that first leg. Uh, we've got a little bit of news to catch up on, some results to catch up on as well, of course. So let's get right to it. First bit of news then is not great. Uh, Carlos Alenia, our midfield prodigy, broke his cheekbone um, in a Barcelona B match against Numantia. Uh, out for four or five weeks. He is still out at the moment. Not great, but a bit of rest probably doing good, really. Um, on pitch, we started out the Copa del Rey quarter-final first leg at home to Atletico Madrid. Things were going so well. A brace from Usman Dembele and a goal from Angel Di Maria had us 3-0 up. Luciano Vieto, though, did get a goal back in the last 20 minutes. Potentially crucial away goal going into that second leg, but a decent result to take to Madrid. Um, and then we had a Catalan derby. We went to the Cornea El Prat took on Espanyol and beat them convincingly 2-0. Paulinho and Luis Suarez getting the goals. It was a routine win. Espanyol offered very little going forward and a crucial three points. And then look at this. The second leg at the Wanda. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we lost 4-1 on the night. We lost 5-4 on aggregate. Uh, Luciano Vieto ended up scoring the crucial goal, the critical, the vital goal. We were rubbish. We didn't turn up. You can tell from the stats. We had eight shots and three on target. They had 20 with 12 on target. We just got... We, we got it handed to us, basically. Yannick Carrasco got a brace. Griezmann scored. As I say, Vieto did get a goal. Uh, the crucial winning goal. Uh, four minutes from time. Luis Suarez had got us in front on away goals in first half stoppage time and it looked like it was going to go to extra time. Blessing in disguise, I'm probably quite happy it didn't go to extra time and I'm not that bothered that we went out in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but back in league action and this kicked off a run of successive 4-0 wins. It was ridiculous. So we beat Leganes. Uh, Rafinha with a brace, he was unbelievable in this game, look at that, 9.6, um, two assists, two goals, key passes everywhere, he was just phenomenal, uh, we played him in Iniesta's position as the advanced playmaker, unplayable, he was ridiculous, Suarez and Dembele as well got the goals, Usman Dembele has been blisteringly hot recently, it has been unbelievable. Um, Gerard Delefeu has signed a new deal as well, uh, Pep Segura has managed to get him tied down. Uh, good pay rise, 92 million on the release fee, really happy with that. Not been getting a lot of game time at the minute, but desperate to keep him at the club. Good young Spanish and of course La Masia graduate. Um, not so good news, Ivan Rakitic um, was thinking about leaving because he's not getting regular first team football, he doesn't think he's going to. I know that is about to upset Ram JB, one of our regular commenters, he's probably going to have a, re a real pop at me for this. Um, but he hasn't been playing. Other players have been playing really, really well. And unfortunately, Rakitic did get unhappy. Uh, but what I have said to him, we had a little chat with him. I said, I think you're a very influential member of the dressing room. That should spread to the pitch. So I will give you some game time. And he's gone away happy with that. But of course, I now have a promise to uphold. Uh, back on the pitch and another 4-0 win, this time against Villarreal and another brace for Dembele, another goal for Luis Suarez, another goal for Paulinho, an absolute raking shot from 25 yards. Messi did miss a penalty at 1-0, it was a little twitchy when he missed that, but we came through with a ridiculously good performance again, just look at those stats. Villarreal, probably a little bit unlucky not to be on the score sheet, but we just dominated them at, all the way through. Uh, Barcelona B have sacked Gerard Lopez. Uh, he's a former Barcelona player and he hasn't been in charge of the B team for long. In fact, it might be this just this season, but they're really struggling. They've slipped into the relegation zone. They are not having a really good season at all. Of course, it is their first season back in the Segunda, um, but they should be doing a little bit better than they are. As it stands, they're still under caretaker managership, so we'll see what happens there. And then here we go, Abar, another 4-0 win. Luis Suarez scored a brilliant hat-trick and Usman Dembele again on the score sheet. We were 4-0 up 
long before half time. It finished 4 0. Uh, they had a man sent off two minutes from time, but we just we dominate as you would expect us to dominate Leganes, Villarreal, Abar. We have dominated those games and we have delivered the points. What all that means then for the league table is just all good stuff at the minute. Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid just cannot handle us at the moment. We are seven points clear of Atletico Madrid and 13 clear of Real Madrid. Everyone has played 24 games. We are really storming it now. We have Atletico coming up in a few weeks time, possibly episode eight. Uh, depends what happens today. But at the moment we are untouchable we're just in flying form and you can see it from the stats as well Luis Suarez has just steamrolled everyone recently he's flown above Carlos Baca in the goal scoring chart now he's six goals ahead of Baca Ronaldo is down there on 15 we've got the top three rated players in the division as well in Messi Suarez and Semedo how Dembele is not in that at the minute I don't know because he's been unbelievable uh, Dembele is second in the assist chart though but look at that Leo Messi 16 assists already this season he's seven player of the match awards to Stegen is level with Oblak and Neto on the clean sheets and our discipline has been reasonably good as well it's all pointing towards us taking the title we've got a little bit more work to do but it has never ever been more in our own hands than it is at this point so the man of the moment really is Usman Dembele of course he won the uh, Golden Boy Award, we saw that in the last episode. He's also picked up um, a couple of the Player of the Month awards over the season as well. He's done really well. So I just wanted to show him you a little bit more in detail, his stats and everything, because we didn't at the start of the season. Um, so look at it in the league. Uh, 16 appearances with four as a sub. He's got eight goals and nine assists. Three Player of the Match awards with a 7.58. Uh, he had one game in the Copa del Rey and he blasted in two goals. Uh, the Supercoppa against Real Madrid, he scored and got an assist. Um, FIFA World Cup UA for qualifying for France, three goals, two assists. The Champions League, two goals in four games. He's just been an absolute sensation. Um, if he performs in real life when he's back from injury like he is in this game, Barcelona have one hell of a player on their hands. What we're going to do today then is we're going to have a look at our opponents, Besiktas uh, from Turkey, of course. They... Uh, I haven't got the Turkish League loaded. Um, it's not one of the ones I've got loaded in this game, so we have no league data for them. Uh, they have Senyol Gunej in charge, a bit of a legend in Turkey. Ogozhan as Ozyakup is their captain. You may remember him. We had him at Marseille for a little while, didn't we? He was phenomenal for us at Marseille in FM17. They've got Pepe, of course, a former Real Madrid defender. Um, they've got a really classic kit. I really love those kits. They're fantastic. Um, I don't think they're really... Um, the real kits I'm not sure they don't look particularly real um, but you may remember they topped their Champions League group that included Dortmund and Chelsea Dortmund went out of that group and dropped into the um, into the Europa League so we will have just a look at the squad um, you see as I said they've got Pepe they've got is that Adriano the former Barcelona Adriano it is the former Barcelona Adriano he is coming back to where he spent a long, good, a good few years. They've got Gokhan Torre as well and Anderson Taliska. He was a wonder kid a few years ago, wasn't he? He never really delivered on his potential. But um, we are going to just get a little scout report on him because his stats still look phenomenal. Um, they've got Ryan Barbel as well, who's having a bit of a renaissance. Alvaro Negredo up front. So they, they have got a good team. They've got to have something about them to be... Dortmund and Chelsea to top spot in their group. They re they've got to they've got to have something about Ricardo Caresma. How is he still playing? He's how is he only thirty four? He was at Barcelona. Oh uh, God, scroll all the way down here. He was at Barcelona in two thousand and three. So I didn't realise he was that young when he was at Barcelona. Um, he's got a lot of experience. He's been at a lot of clubs. You can see here he started out Sporting. He's been a it's, as I say, he was at Barca, Porto, Chelsea, Inter, Besiktas a first time, Porto again, back at Besiktas. Absolutely sensational player. If he was a bit younger, I'd be having a look at him because those stats look really good. Today's channel shout out is for the Milk Guzzler. He's a really good lad in the community. Um, slightly more subs than me, he's on 254, but we won't hold that against him. Um, he for the beta on FM18, he did Leon has save in France with them. And if we just go to his playlists, he has just uh, started up his 
main FM18 save with Redthorpe Redemption. It's a riches to rags kind of story. He's um, he's taken a club, he's created a club, and he's taken them um, from a fictional Premier League position down into Conference South due to off the uh, due to match fiction fixing scandals. Um, started them with massive points deductions and it looks like it's going to be a really interesting save a really tough challenge for him to get them back on their feet so get along sub to him and um, follow him on Twitter as well and check out his Red Thought Redemption series links as ever in the description get along and give this guy a look this is a team we're going with today then we've got Tostegan in goal Jordi Alba, Samuel Umtiti, Gerard Piquet, Nelson Semedo as the back four that is our first choice back four it's pretty much unbreakable. Uh, Ivan Rakitic playing in the deep line playmaker just in front of the defence. Sergio Busquets is suspended for this match uh, so it's a good opportunity to get Rakitic going on his promise. Uh, Angel Di Maria is starting the game as the advanced playmaker. He, he had a game there earlier in the season and was unbelievable so I'm going to give him another chance because uh, Iniesta is only about 90% fit and I don't want to play Rafinha or Andre Gomez in this game, so I'm going to give Di Maria the chance. Paulinho's the box to box. Uh, we've got Dembele and Messi behind 31 goal strikers. Suarez, Valentine's Day, and he's got 31 goals already. Guy's going to end up on 45 goals easily this season if he doesn't get injured. He's been amazing. Um, one thing I did want to do, um, Ram JB, I mentioned him earlier, um, put a comment on, um, I think it was episode 5, um, because he's played, he's got a save going with Barcelona as well and he just wanted me to show the instructions because he's struggling to get his Barcelona team playing the way Barcelona are playing in this save. Um, so these are them, we've got a normal tempo, it was originally set at a higher tempo um, but we had to work the ball into the box instruction on and they were counteracting each other, um, I found out. So that has gone back down to normal. Um, we've got closing down set to more because it's what Barcelona do. Slightly higher defensive line uh, because we're playing with a sweeper keeper because it's what Barca do in real life and that's what I'm trying to emulate. Uh, mixed passing, more expressive, stay on the feet in the tackles, look for the overlap, play out of defence. Um, I've taken passing to space off as well. That was originally set and we are playing fairly wide. So yeah, hope that helps Ram JB. Thank you very much, mate. Um, keep commenting. You're a legend. I love reading all your comments. Um, right, let's get to it. Let's put this tie to bed. Here we go then. We are at the Camp Nou. I, I still love this screen. I really do. You definitely need the face pack. Definitely, definitely need the face pack. It just pops. It's fantastic. Absolutely love it. Uh, quite a defensive formation from uh, Besiktas. Not really surprising. They're going to 4-1-4-1. But let's go in. Let's passionately let's g them up not assertively don't want to stress them out but let's passionately say we are the favorites go out and give the fans a performance to cheer for that's gone down pretty well and we're going to give the assistant um the chance to give the individual team talks we are just going to have a look where can i go for the opposition instructions here we go because sometimes this uh, again, it was Ram JB who pointed out that maybe this is why I'm getting a lot of red cards. Um, it's because we've got some hard tackling set. So we're going to keep an eye on that um, just to just to see what is going on. And he does sometimes, yeah, he, he, he does have a tendency to put Paulinho on a, um, on a specific marking instruction and it always ends up with him being dragged out of position. And it's always him, it's always our assistant that tells us that he's been dragged out of position. It's like, you told him to do it. Right, so the visitors get the game underway and it's it's rocking in the Camp Nou. I can't wait to get this match really going. I think we can get the job done early doors here. I really do. They did have a phenomenal group stage, but I really think we have got what it takes to get the win and a comfortable win in this match. Early shot from Dembele was blocked. The corner will be taken. So good time to mention the shirt as the corner is headed away. So this one is... Uh, it's, it's a few years old now, quite a few years old. I remember it because of the yellow collar. I really liked the yellow collar on this shirt and it, was, it's, it feels really nice as well. Um, the reason I remember the yellow shirt is because it's the, it's the shirt they were wearing 
when we signed David Villa and I was so so happy when we signed David Villa he was one of my favourite Spanish players one of my favourite strikers as Di Maria is in and we have an early goal after 10 minutes brilliant finish from Di Maria justifying his selection um, and yeah I just I love I love it. It's um, one of my favourites. Uh, but it, 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 I just remember it because it was the shirt that David Villa wore during his pre presentation at the club. And I loved David Villa. I wish we'd got him a little bit earlier, but he was such a good striker and still doing the doing business in MLS as well as it stands. Um, but come on, boys, let's build on this now. Let's. We've been in rampant form at home, scored four in without replying our last three matches. A repeat of that and we won't need to film the second leg but nothing happening at the minute here we go now a highlight with Jordi Alba Luis Suarez yeah awfully deep there Suarez and Babel has got to it but it's PK now out to Messi Suarez in the box now Di Maria has it he's going to go for goal and he's flashed it wide Umtiti to Di Maria infield to Paulinho back to Dembele now Paulinho again the fullbacks looking to get on the overlap Di Maria looks for Jordi Alba now Ah, oh, get the cross in, he does, and Suarez is there, hits it straight at the keeper, back with Di Maria though, and Paulinho with the shot, and that's a better save from Fabrizio. Short goal kick from Fabrizio, forward it goes, oh, Negredo's unmarked in the centre circle, out wide to Babel, Ogujan, loved him when we had him at Marseille, Semedo is intercepted though, and here's Messi, dribbling brilliantly as he does, Leo Messi still going, oh, they crowded him out eventually, but it's Di Maria, and it's Luis Suarez, and it's a chance, and it's saved again by Fabrizio. He is on a mission to keep it at one at the moment, and the corner is cleared. Nelson Semedo with the corner, uh, with the throw-in, sorry. Di Maria down to Suarez. We've got 10 minutes till the half-time. We have been utterly dominant, but we have not managed to add another goal. And right on cue, Angel Di Maria. He is an absolute revelation as an advanced playmaker. He doesn't really impress me when he plays instead of Messi out on the right as an inside forward. But in central midfield, I think this is the second time he started there. And this is his fourth goal he scored from that position now. Absolutely lashes it in. Rakitic to take the corner. Negredo clears at the near post. Um, so we did just have a little... Um, oh, Dembele. Dembele, good shot straight at the keeper though. Um, so in the in the menu here, you can see Paulinho was looking complacent. We have just gone in and given him an individual demand more shout out. Hopefully it'll get his mind in the game. He is vital to this team and the way it plays. Here's Paulinho, Rakitic, Di Maria. Played through looking for Dembele and the Frenchman scores again and Di Maria turns provider this time and Usman Dembele. I cannot stress how good this kid has been recently. He is on fire. I love this kid. Wow, what a ball from Di Maria to start with though. But Dembele is comfortable on both feet. What a finish. Half time then and it's gone from being quite nervy at 1-0 to being absolutely delighted now at 3-0 uh, we have gone in and just calmly said uh, you might be winning but that could all change if your performance levels drop um, just calmly um, just to let them know we're on their side you know don't want to stress them out don't want to work them up seems to have gone down pretty well uh, it's, I mean it has just been a fabulous fabulous first half performance we've got the scoreline now that reflects our dominance let's hope we can uh, keep a clean sheet which looking likely because they're not showing anything going forward um, we are just going to bring up I forgot to do this the other the other game that's going on which is Chelsea against Bayern and it is nil nil in uh, in West London at the minute here's Nelson Semedo um, yes yeah, so Besiktas have shown no ambition to get forward at all as Messi hits one and Fabrizio turns it round the post um, are they going to look to get an away goal in this second half um, at the moment as Suarez is in and it's 4-0 and this tie is done we are not going to be showing the second leg it looks like unless Besiktas suddenly come out of their own half and get a couple of goals but what a run from Suarez brilliant movement from the striker 4-0 and yes yeah, no more than we deserve I mean we've had 16 shots we've put 11 of them on target we've had two-thirds of the possession we've just been absolutely brilliant and Bayern have scored Juan Bernat I would love to have him at the club um, Spanish left back has scored for Bayern Munich big away goal that is here's Di Maria on a hat-trick of course and that took a deflection Rakitic lifts a free kick in it's headed away but it's straight back to the Croatian and Delefeo hits one 
So Delefeu has come on for uh, Dembele and we've also taken Di Maria off and brought on Rafinha as PK heads down and Paulinho sweeps it in and it is 5-0 and Besiktas are sinking without a trace here and it's another set piece goal. I really struggled with corners and things on FM17 and um, we've hit two today from corners. Uh, it's just it's a perfect perfect second half as the score at Stamford Bridge as Sherman Lons hits a free kick well over that's Besiktas's first shot on goal we can see buying a 2-1 up at Chelsea now uh, so they are massive favourites to progress there as Barbel plays it aimlessly down the line Semedo picks it up gives it to Jordi Alba here's Umtiti and might take him off because he has been booked um, and we don't want him suspended, although he probably wouldn't play the second leg anyway. I'd probably give De Vrij a game. Um, here's Semedo. Good ball in, looking for Suarez. It's going to drop for Paulinho. And Delefeu puts it wide. Why didn't Paulinho shoot there? Fabrizio's going to take this goal kick then. So with 15 minutes to go, we took Suarez off and brought Paco Alcacer on. And absolutely nothing has happened since. It's just gone straight through to what I assume is going to be the end highlight. Uh, here's Lons, but Paulinho picks it up. Umtiti for to Rafinha. Uh, so I assume this there's going to be nothing actually happen here. But here's Alcacer, Rakitic, Rafinha. What can you do? I mean, I'm commentating on probably nothing at the, <laughs> at the moment. Rakitic, it's just been a, a spectacular performance. A fantastic scoreline as Messi did get a shot away. Um, it's the final kick of the game. Brilliant, brilliant performance. Di Maria's getting the man of the match by the look of it uh, with a 9.5. And of course, he assisted Usman Dembele as well, didn't he? I mean, the job's done. The job is done. 5-0. If we lose from this point now, there is no way I'm continuing this save. I will resign immediately. Uh, <laughs> there is no way we are losing this tie now. Uh, passionately going to say, happy with the result and the way you played. There's no other nothing else I can say they were phenomenal really really happy with that confirmation and these are the scores from the first two knockout round first legs Bayern got a third I didn't notice it during a match um, you may have done um, Arjen Robben scored on his old stamping ground two minutes from time to pretty much guarantee Bayern going through Chelsea need to score at least three away goals that's not going to happen and our thumping of Besiktas in the tie we wanted of course and that is going to be, well, a dead rubber of a second leg. So if we do go into the schedule, and oh, I hate it when it shows the friendlies. I don't want the friendlies being shown. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to play the games against Alaves, Valencia, Las Palmas and Sevilla. And then the second leg against Besiktas. We're going to play all those off camera. And we are going to come back um, for the big, big game against Atletico Madrid. As things stand, they are seven points behind us. Depends what happens between now and that match. It could be a massive, massive, crucial game. Um, you can see they've got Copenhagen in their Champions League knockout. They've also got Valencia and Sevilla away back to back in their next two league games. So there's potential for the gap between us to go up, to go down. I am hoping it is still a relevant match when it comes around, but that is going to be the next episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. Um, smash that like button. It really, really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you haven't already um, and click that little, uh, the little bell next to subscribe as well. That'll let you know when a video goes live. Usually they come out on a Tuesday and a Friday, um, but if for whatever reason I managed to get an extra one out or one's delayed a little bit, you will never miss it. Thank you so much. Drop comments as well. What I'm going to do towards the end of the season is I'm going to give you um, the chance to get involved to decide what happens in the summer, mainly around players like Paco Alcasa, maybe Rafinha, players like that. Um, and certainly, certainly around Pep Segura. He does have four years left on his contract, but I'm going to give you guys a decision. Do we keep him or do we get rid of him? So in the next video, we'll have a look at the transfers that he did. I did want to do it in this video, but um, we've run out of time. Um, and yeah, I want you guys to start getting involved and, um, and see where we take this team. So thank you again for watching, guys. I'll see you for that Atletico game very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.